due to poor. Now I'm live. <laughs> That's terrible. Hey everybody, Frank Gray coming back to you with the latest edition of Real Estate IQ. One of the questions I get every single time I sit down to talk with potential homeowners or homeowners about potentially selling their home is, what if we sell our home faster than we think and we don't have another home to go to? I mean, are we going to be staying in a hotel? Do we have to get an apartment? Do we have to do a double move? How do we handle that? Well, if you've ever had that thought go through your head, let that stress just roll off because I have a process that I go through with all of my sellers that works like a charm and it really breaks down this way. If you're selling your home but also buying locally, the first thing that we want to do, number one, is identify the neighborhoods that you're interested in moving to. And sometimes we'll get in our car and we'll go drive around even before your home goes on the market. We'll identify the parts of town that provide the school district and the lifestyle and the price point that you're looking for. We don't have to go looking at specific homes right now because the homes that we would see today aren't going to be on the market when it's time for you to purchase. But we'll identify general parts of town that work for you. Then we'll get a, a saved search put together. We'll go into the MLS, we'll identify your preferred neighborhoods, price point, number of beds and baths, any lot characteristics, and you'll start getting emails every single time a home comes on the market that, you, that meets your criteria. That way you'll be able to stay up on trends in the market so that when the time comes to buy, you'll already be educated about what works, what doesn't, what homes are selling for at different prices, how long they stay on the market, so you'll have the knowledge to make an informed decision. We get your home on the market, and then once we go under contract, that somebody has agreed to purchase your home, now we get in the car and we go out to look find and contract on your perfect home. Now, how long does that take? In my experience, about one day. And let me explain. Because we've been monitoring the market, we're very much in touch with what home values are. We're gonna narrow it down to maybe eight or 10 possible homes that meet all of your criteria, and we can see those in a Saturday. Now, when we write up your sale contract, on your existing home, we're going to give ourselves a six week window to close and we're going to get you pre-approved with a lender and that only takes 30 days to close. So we've got a two week window to find your perfect home and we only need one day. So we have built plenty of time into the process so that when we contract on your new home, we're going to do back to back closing. So you'll literally sell your home at nine o'clock you'll purchase your new home at 10 o'clock and you'll only have to move one time. Now I realize that was a big load of information. If you wanna talk more deeply about that or if you have other questions about that transition process, feel free to give me a call. My name is Frank Gray, I'm here to help, thank you.